Hello, and today we are going to be talking about Loro versus Urza. Now, the problem with this fight, alright, I'm going to talk about the problem with it. The problem with it is that Loro has not gone all out yet. I had the same problem with Goku versus Superman, the second fight. Because we had not seen Resurrection of F yet. Resurrection of F had yet to be released when Goku and Superman fall for a second time. So the problem is that Zoro, since the time skip, had not even tried. He easily defeated Pika, he easily defeated Monette, he easily defeated that guy on Fifth Man Island. He beat him so easily, I forgot his name. If you remember, tell me his name in the comments. But Zoro is just so powerful, but we don't know what he's really capable of. So I'm very worried they're going to put Zoro at a very relatively weak level, and they're going to have Urza, which is a character that is so powerful. She had, if you don't know, she had this thing called the Nakagami Armor. Now, I haven't read Fairy Tale in like forever, so I'll, I may get a couple things wrong, but last time I checked, she had this thing called the Nakagami Armor, where she could cut through anything and like bend the laws of magic to her will. And they're probably going to allow that to affect Taki. I'm not even sure how they're going to incorporate Taki. Like, can Urza stop Taki? Like, I don't. Oh my god. And the problem with Urza is that, gee, that character that doesn't make scientific sense. Because she doesn't win her fight because it makes sense for her to win her fight. She wins her fight because of Nakama power-ups. Power of friendship bullshit. So I'm very concerned that you're going to have this really overpowered character in Urza that has all this power from all these friendship bullshit power-ups. And then Zoro is just going to lose because of that. Now, if Urza wins, and they give me a satisfying reason, so I don't want it, I don't want it to involve any bullshit Nakama power-ups, and I don't, most certainly, do not want to see Zoro lose because, or because Urza is Urza. Yes, there was a part in the manga where Urza lost because she's Urza. I mean, Urza won a fight. Because she was Urza. In fact, there is just a broken theory to turn with power scaling. I don't think there. I don't think Urza. As far as I know, from the parts of the theory that I watched to completion, but was up until not do one shot the God of Death. I started falling off around the second time skip when Sarah Till returned. I agreed it occasionally, but uh, I fell off and dropped it when not do one shot the God of Death. I was just. I'm stopping there. Ha I wasn't even angry. I stopped caring, uh, honestly. But that's not the topic of the video. The topic of the video is the fact that Urza is, as far as I can remember, has never lost a fight in Fairy Tale. She had never lost a fight. And you can very well tell me I'm wrong. You can tell me I'm wrong if you want to. You can. And I will accept that if I don't know a lot about Fairy Tale. But if Urza wins because of some bullshit, I'm going to be pissed. I'm expecting Screw Attack to do well this time. There shouldn't be any bias. Not a Superman with bias, I'm not saying that. But I'm expecting it to be a good research death battle. I already have a couple very minor nitpicks with the Zoro backstory, with the way they describe it, and the way they talk about certain elements of the story. Nothing is very important, it's just for minor things that bothered me. But guys, Zora vs. Urza is a thing. Tell me your thoughts on Zora vs. Urza in the comment section down below. I mean, do you think it's a problem? Are you worried that Zora is going to lose because of the power of friendship? Or do you legitimately think Urza is stronger? If you think that, good. Tell me why in the comments. Also, follow me on Twitter and check out my Facebook fan page. The link to both of those are in the description box down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos. Peace out, guys!